Hello, my name is Jeff Weinhold and I'm a Solutions Architect here at Amazon Web Services. Migration Hub Strategy Recommendations is a new service for our customers and partners to assess their workloads, their applications, and their servers at scale to recommend migration and modernization pathways along with what tools and processes they can use to achieve their goals. At a high level, we'll cover what it means to modernize on AWS. We'll also talk about the modernization journey when thinking about migration and modernization. In addition, we'll look at the common challenges when assessing migration and modernization pathways. We'll then introduce the AWS Migration Hub Strategy Recommendation Service. We'll talk about how the process works and how to get started. Finally, we'll leave you with some resources to learn more. So what is enterprise modernization anyways? Put simply, it's the process of taking your existing application environment and transforming it into higher value cloud native services. Oftentimes this will be legacy or monolithic applications. In doing so, it enables you to accelerate new business capabilities, improve operational excellence, and drive higher levels of cost optimization through digital initiatives. For enterprises, this means focusing on three major areas that need to be modernized your infrastructure, organizational patterns, and architecture. The modernization journey can be divided into three categories, assess, mobilize, and modernize. In the first phase, you'll assess the desire, readiness, and feasibility across business and technical factors. In the mobilize phase, you'll design and plan for success across technical and organizational needs. Finally, you'll enter the migration and modernization phase based on the mobilized plan. Migrations at scale consist of the building blocks, processes, tools, resources, and methodologies defined and tested during the readiness and planning phase. When you're looking to migrate and modernize, you have many choices in the cloud. Whether you migrate first or not, the goal should be to modernize. If migrating first, you'll typically look at the rehost pattern, otherwise known as lift and shift. Oftentimes, you'll look at replatforming or lift, tinker, and shift by taking advantage of a managed database service or containers. We often hear from customers that they want to reduce their licensing costs by leveraging open source technologies. AWS has tools and programs to assist with porting from .NET Framework to .NET Core or migrating from SQL Server to Postgres, for example. One of the challenges with the assessment phase is that it's not always clear what migration and modernization options are available. Related to that, there may not be organization-wide knowledge of the tools and services available to help you migrate and modernize. It can also be challenging to keep track of all the workloads that are migrating and the approaches taken for each in a central location. We also find that many customers are in a time crunch to make decisions. In addition, not everyone is an expert in cloud migrations or starts with the domain knowledge needed in the cloud. Oftentimes, the process is mostly manual and doesn't scale. Finally, there's no single strategy applicable for every customer or workload. To help address these challenges, we have a feature of Migration Hub called Strategy Recommendations. This new feature helps customers' migration and modernization initiatives by offering assessment and recommendations for viable transformation paths for their workloads. It identifies application and server targets that can be transformed using AWS modernization tools. Based on your business goals, the Migration Hub Strategy Recommendation Engine will analyze your applications and databases to help make recommendations on migration and modernization pathways. For example, if your objective is to move to a license-free world, the Recommendation Engine might suggest Aurora Postgres as a target for your existing SQL Server and tools to help you get there, like our Schema Conversion Tool and Database Migration Service. Let's talk about how this all works across three phases. The first phase is data collection. Server inventory is collected either manually or automatically via our agent or agent list discovery tools. We'll also ask you questions about your business objectives. Optionally, we can scan your application code or SQL databases to use for analysis. Once all the data has been collected, our service will perform a static analysis of your application and environment along with the source code and database information if supplied. Once the analysis has completed, the recommendation engine will provide strategies for migration and modernization for each of your application and databases. To get started, you'll need an AWS account. You'll also use our application discovery service to collect data. 
The data collector client will need a common set of credentials to remotely collect data from both Windows and Linux servers. If you're going to use the source code analysis feature against a GitHub or GitHub Enterprise repository, you'll need to create a personal access token. Also, you'll need to have a Windows machine with the AWS porting assistant for .NET. Finally, to analyze SQL databases, you'll need to store the database credentials in our Secrets Manager service. AWS Migration Hub partners have migration solutions that have been integrated with Migration Hub to help simplify the process of migrating your on-premises applications to AWS. If you are looking for a migration partner to support your AWS cloud adoption, please visit the AWS Migration Partner Solutions page. In summary, the Migration Hub strategy recommendation helps you assess your migration and modernization opportunities by providing detailed recommendations to rehost, replatform, and refactor your existing servers and application components. To learn more, please visit our AWS Migration Hub page.